Welcome to the sixth round draw for the FAI Junior Cup with Aviva and Umbro. We're in the Aviva fan studio here at the Aviva Stadium. It's the last 32 stage of the competition. 35 names still in the hat, three times, three ties in the fifth round being played next weekend. Among the Balls in the cup here, Sheriff YC, the holders who beat Crew Park after extra time of the weekend at Clontarf Road. Kalani Celtic, who were 1-0 winners over Murphy United. Also Willow Park from Athlone, who knocked out the other large Galway side left in the competition, Salt Hill Devon. River Valley Rangers, 4-1 winners over Westport United. Janesborough won in Arklo. Victory for Bally Nanty as well, former finalists here. There were 1-0 winners against Courtown Hibs. And also a penalty shootout victory at the weekend for Regional United against Pike Rovers. That finished 1-1 there. Watch out for Boyle Celtic as well who won at Eris United, Cherry Orchard won at Yule United. But Alan Corley, we were uh, just on the north side of Dublin City here with that 2-1 uh, victory for Sheriff YC at the weekend, but needed a long time to do it. They did, Jad. They made hard work for it, Will, on the day, you would have to say. Uh, obviously, people fancied them strongly going into the tie, but I thought Carew Park put up a really good showing. Um, a kind of a rear guard performance from them really defended very well throughout and hung in the game I thought Sheriff were without the services of John Rock they missed him uh, normally he pops up he's a very dangerous centre forward as you know in this competition and I thought they, they missed him on the day but um, eventually they found a way through the defen um, defensive uh, frail what the defensive kind of um, rear guard action that they put up so um, yeah it was a good result for Sheriff IC and I suppose going into the round now with only 32 teams left everybody would want to avoid Sheriff IC as we know I'll ask you this question again in 10 minutes time but who's going to win the cup yeah, it's hard to look past Sheriff as we all know well, they have such strong tradition in the competition they're a very strong outfit uh, but looking at them on Sunday I think you can get there's areas where you can't get at them I think Janesborough were very good in the competition last year um, as you mentioned Crumlin as well had a good win Cherry Orchard also St Michael's as we know have a good tradition in the competition too so uh, I think it's still wide open but I think the, for everyone tuning in tonight the, they'll obviously be very excited about the draw because what seems so far away the Aviva Stadium at the start of the competition uh, it's kind of in the distance now you can kind of see with only 32 teams left it's not as far away as it was at the start of the competition so plenty of clubs tune in excited tonight thank you very much we had a great dress rehearsal nothing dramatic happened in the last five minutes uh i'm joined <laughs> here by robert kennedy of aviva he's going to pick out the home teams and also noel fitzroy the chairman of the fai junior board will pick out the away so gentlemen you've got the fate of 35 clubs in your hands it's over to you Ballinar Town or Dean Celtic? First either or, we'll play. We'll play Boyle Celtic. Boyle Celtic, 1-0 winners up in uh, <coughs> Belmullet against Eris United on Sunday. Next home team. Bells Cadden FC. We'll, we'll play, play Donny Carney FC. Donny Carney winning on Friday night at Kilmore. Willow Park FC. Our close side, good victory for them at the weekend <coughs> over uh, Salt Hill Devon. Who are they up against? We play Drumfin Celtic or Ringmahan Rangers. Boot Road Celtic. South Dublin side. Best run in years for them. We'll play Regional United. Cracking win and penalties for them at the weekend over Pike Rovers. Limerick Derby. Grattan United. We'll play Villa FC. Waterford side won and penalties themselves at the weekend on the road up in Ballina Slow. Next home side. Kilmallock United. Good win for the Limbrick outfit again at the weekend. We'll play Belurgan United. 5-4 win for them actually up at Castlebar Celtic. That would have been a decent game to be at. On the road again. <coughs> Sheriff YC. 2-1 win over Carew Park on Sunday. The holders, they won three of the last five. We'll play St Michael's or Richard Celtic. Mm. <laughs> Wonder what game we're doing in the next round. <laughs> That's if St. Michael's win. VCFC. 
great run for them locally as well, actually. Good run for a Dublin side. We'll play Butterfund FC. Bit of a long journey for Butterfund to come up from deepest southwest monster there. Rush Athletic. Beat Greencastle at the weekend and a uh, bit of a sing-song between <coughs> both sides and the bar afterwards we saw. We play Bally and Anti Rovers. Couple of finals here lately. Newfoundwell FC. We play Evergreen FC. Evergreen from Kilkenny who I think hit five at the weekend. Crumlin United. We play Thurless Town. Crumlin going well in a few cup competitions at the moment. Thurless Town used to be a league town a long time ago. Abbey Field United. Abbey Field struck five at the weekend. And they'll play Navan Cosmos. Navan winning at Cretiard. Navan Cosmos. Peak Villa FC. We play Cherry Orchard. One of the highest scoring games of the weekend. They won 4-2 Sunday afternoon away to Yall United. Janesborough FC. Janesborough a decent victory away at Arklow. 1-0. We'll play Dingle Bay Rovers. <coughs> Not very far for them to travel, really. River Valley. Four winners against Westport United in the fifth round. We played Carrick United. Two good home wins in the last couple of rounds. Beat Waterford Hibs in round four. And the last home team, Newmarket Celtic. Quarter finalists last year, knocked out by Janesborough. Close enough. They will play Killarney Celtic. And they were 1-0 uh, winners against Merview on Saturday night. So that will be uh, another all monster affair. And Alan Coley, you've got the board. There you, there you go. This, uh, this is quite an impressive looking uh, fixture list. And uh, I just wonder, I'm just going to have to put, uh, one, one of us is going to have to go the other side for the microphone so we don't block it. But uh, tie of the round, sir. I would have to be Sheriff against St. Michael's. There was a few oohs and ahs when that one came out of the hat, uh, Will. And as we all know, um, Sheriff YC, the favourites for the competition. Another home draw. I suppose people were probably hoping to try and get them out of Clontarf, but that's not the case again in this round. But St. Michael's will certainly put it up to them. That's, of course, you have to pay full respect to Usher Celtic as well. They have the chance to obviously um, get into the round against Sheriff too. So if it is St. Michael's that progress, though, it'll be one hell of a tie against Sheriff YC. Well, obviously, there's a big incentive for Usher to win this game as well because immediately, everyone's going to say oh Sheriff against Michael so if you're an Usher you will say right there's our incentive right there prove everyone wrong ruin the perfect game yeah of course and you have to be um, very respectful towards Usher, Usher Celtic they have the chance obviously against St Michael's uh, to progress through to the round against Sheriff YC too Will. so um, you shouldn't be counting them out just at this stage but certainly Michael's will fancy their chances I think um, of getting through that and if they are playing Sheriff YC will be one hell of a tie what else I think it's it's important to mention Budavent FC. Um, I think they're the lowest ranked team to come out of the Cork section. They've af uh, they're after being drawn away to VEC and they played Castle Knock Celtic in the last round. I think they won three one. So to come through, um, obviously drawn away from home is not ideal for them. But the the progression they've made, I think it's their first time in twenty years to get to this stage. A small low, lowly ranked club from Cork, so uh, it's an excellent achievement for them. And they may progress as well at this stage, they, even though it's an away tie. They've already, as we've seen last weekend, uh, gone to Castle Knock and won. So. Um, they might fancy their chances also. Yeah, River Valley Rangers, they scored four at the weekend. Carrick have had a couple of good rounds mm. at home, but now on the road in round six. Yeah, I think home advantage is huge, Well, It's something that we always mention in these, um, when any time the draw comes round. I think it's really, really important. Uh, when you have to travel away, it's difficult, you know, the preparations and going away from home. So any time, especially the last 32, to get drawn at home. River Valley Rangers getting to the quarterfinal as well last year. Uh, they've done quite well in the competition recently. So, uh, as you said, they had a good win against Westport at the weekend. They'll fancy their chances at home also. I will take that back just to tell you the uh, fifth round highlights coming up this weekend. Irish TV, 7pm on Saturday night. Air Sports, Sunday night at 7. Few repeats on the different channels as well. And all these ties in the sixth round will be played the weekend of January 13th to 15th. Good night from the Aviva.